Hello and welcome to this ECE 102 demonstration. In the lecture slides uh, I mentioned two big time management tools, uh, a weekly calendar and uh, the Notion task database. In this video I'm just going to briefly show uh, examples of those live rather than just in the, in the slides. Uh, so first up here we have a weekly calendar made through Google Calendar. Um, and this is for the summer session in 2024. You can see that I have laid out fixed time slots, like when I have my CSE 120 and my ECE 102 classes. And those occur regularly, right? So I don't have to insert these on every single day. I can just create it once and add a repeating event in Google Calendar. Uh, so let's, let's just say hypothetically I have another event that I want to put on here called take my girls to the park and okay so I put that in there this is actually a personal task I'm going to choose uh, the personal color there I want to do this from 1 to 2 p.m. every Tuesday and Thursday right here it says does not repeat I'm gonna click there and come down to custom I'm going to have a repeat every week on Tuesday and Thursday. And I want this to go all the way till the end of the summer session, which is July 19th. And so now when I save that, you can see it repeated here uh, within this one week on Tuesday and Thursday. If I go to the next week, I can see it right there. And this is going to continue all the way till that July 19th end date. And then on that next week after that, I actually don't see it anymore because it's past the end date. All right. So that's uh, what a typical week looks like. Um, notice that I include the fixed things, like when my classes are, when I have office hours. Uh, I also have some flexible things, like taking my girls to the park or when I go to the fitness center. As I emphasized in those lecture slides, if something is important, make time for it. And make time for it by putting it in your weekly calendar. Um, if I did not include the fitness center on there, I get a little lazy sometimes. It would be a lot easier for me just to ignore it on a given day. And then by the end of the summer, I realize I haven't gone at all. I have things as an instructor like feedback or prep for classes. I've scheduled those in my calendar. You as a student will probably have things like study time or uh, homework time. Um, again, make sure you include those in your calendar so you know which hours of which day you are working on those. Um, yeah, so this is a, a fairly simple and easy to use tool. You have access to the, uh, the full Google suite of tools like this just with your Maricopa account. Uh, you may choose to use um, your, your personal Google account, uh, and that's fine. Right? Feel free to include personal items on this or not. Maybe you want to keep that completely separate from your work or school calendar. You have flexibility with that. Um, yeah, there's also a little option up here. I could show the weekends. I don't really like that. I use this primarily for my work calendar, so... Um, I'll keep it just showing the weekdays, Monday through Friday. All right. And I actually want to delete this from my calendar. Uh, I do want to do this event. I just haven't figured out exactly when. When I click the delete option, I could just click delete this one event, and that only deletes that one slot. Alternatively, I could click all events that's going to delete everything in my calendar under this name take my girls to the park that's actually what I want to do here so I'll click OK all right I think those are the basics in Google Calendar you'll see more details in the assignment handout now I want to hop over to the notion tasks database and this one might be kind of new to you right uh, not many students, not many people in general, have used task databases like this. So if it feels strange, 
don't worry, right? It's strange for a lot of us. We have all semester to practice on it. Uh, so the, the way I have you build it for this class is you build a projects database where you list out each of your courses and then any other uh, sets of commitments that you might have, like fun with friends, maybe you have responsibility taking care of family members, house chores could be another category, and so on. So we got this projects database, and then over here are specific tasks that get associated with those projects. And we can see uh, some of those tasks up here in the larger database. So maybe down here I need to pick up Joey uh, from school. Okay, I know that's a task that I need to get done. So I jot it down on this list and I associate it with the younger siblings. And so when I come down here, I see younger siblings pick up Joey from school. Great. It automatically links between those two. So this is a great way of seeing specific tasks I have to get done, as well as everything associated with a project that I need to get done. All right, so what is the suggested workflow that I give you in the slides? First, we have to construct this task database. That's what one of your class assignments will walk you through. Uh, but then once it is established, step one is any time a nagging task pops up, any commitment that you know that you need to do, whether it's today, whether it's next week, just open up your notion and jot it down right here. So maybe I have some calculus homework section 8-2. Notice how I didn't just write calculus or calculus homework. I tried to be more specific with that name. It takes about three seconds to type out this full thing and it's going to lead to no confusion down the road. Great. That is step one. Just jot down the tasks when uh, they pop into your mind and suddenly it's on a list. Your brain doesn't get stuck in this rehearsal loop where it's trying to remember what tasks to do. Okay, step two that I show you is at least once a day in your daily review, open up your task database and add details. So calculus homework, section 8.2, when do I need to get that done? Maybe I need to get it done by Friday. How many hours do I think that'll take? Now this is just a guess, but I'm gonna say 1.5 hours. Is there a link? Right, maybe you're doing the homework through some online resource. Awesome, include the link right there. And then lastly, let's associate it with a project. And that is part of my calculus course. I should probably have a project uh, for that calculus course. I just added it down below and now I can come up here and I see calculus as one of the options. Uh, one little tip while I'm at it, this link section is very useful to link straight to an email. I did not know you were able to save the links directly to one of your own emails uh, until just a couple of months ago, but it's really made this more convenient for me. So any email I need a reference, I include that link right here. And then I, when I get to a task, I don't have to scan through my old emails to try to find the right one. Right. Um, and then, uh, to continue the daily review, you'd fill out all of these. Uh, maybe there are other items that you realize you've completed. Great. Come up here and click the delete button and it's gone. You finished it. You don't need to see it anymore. Take it off of your task database. And that's really it. It's a pretty simple workflow. And I, I want to emphasize that it's not the tool itself that I really care about. It's getting in the habit of having these time management procedures in place. Find what works for you and stick with it. I require you in this class 
to try out the Google Calendar, to try out the Notion Task Database, because I find them to be useful tools. After the semester, you might say, you know what, this isn't working for me, or maybe I love it. Maybe I want to dive deeper into it and even expand this task database uh, to see what more uses uh, I can come up with. All right, that is uh, it for my quick rundown of these two task management tools.